Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As long as you have owner permission to a public folder, you can administer it. You can perform various administrative activities like setting the initial view of the folder for the other users, adding a link to the folder to your contacts folder, or changing whether the folder is accessible by all users or just the owners. All of these properties can be set by clicking the administration tab in the folder properties dialog box. So select the public folder in the folder list, right click on it, choose properties, and then simply click the administration tab. Now on this tab, you can use the initial view on folder drop down to set what the initial view of the folder should be when a user first opens the folder. You can then choose how drag drop posting to the folder should be applied. It should be either a move copy or a forward. And that just sets how the item appears when a user drags and drops an item into the folder. The forward option sets the item to appear to be from the user who moved or copied the item. The move copy option sets the item to appear to be from the person who originally posted the item. You can click the contacts button to add the folder to your contacts folder as a contact. That way you can send Outlook items directly to the folder. In the this folder is available to section you can choose the option button that corresponds to whom you want to allow access to the folder. You can choose owners only while you're creating or editing the folder as any messages or items that the individuals try to send to the folder will be returned to them with a message letting them know that the folder is only available to folder owners at that time. Or you can of course choose all users with access permission as the default. Now clicking the folder assistant button will launch the folder assistant dialog box where you can change the rules that dictate how items are processed within the folder. We'll look at setting rules in a separate lesson. Clicking the moderated folder button allows you to select a moderator for the folder. A moderator is an individual who reviews items that are posted to the folder before allowing them to be posted. To set a moderator, click the set up folder as a moderated folder checkbox. Below that, click the to button and select the names of the individuals who will be responsible for moderating the folder. If you want the users who post the moderated folder to receive a reply, check the reply to new items with checkbox. Then you either have to choose the standard response or custom response. If you select custom response then you'll have to create the body of the email message that you want them to see by clicking the template button and then typing a message. Now in the moderator section, you can click add to add the names of the individuals who have the ability to move the items back into the folder after they have reviewed the material for submission. Now when you finish doing that, just click the OK button in the moderated folder dialog box and then click OK in the folder's properties dialog box to set the administration. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.